Hey everybody, it's Kathleen. Um, uh, this is my first like official video, I guess, talking about who I am and all that kind of nature of things. Um, my name is Kathleen, and I actually have a list here of things to talk about because I can't. I have the attention span of goldfish, basically. Um, so yeah, on here it says nicknames. One of my nicknames, I actually just got a text from someone, so now I'm I'm totally out of it. Um, nicknames, back in middle school, I got the name Kit Kat or Kitty Cat or any cat, anything along those lines. Um, one of my weirder nicknames is Fish. Um, not many people call me that, but the people who do, it's because they know a certain fact about me, and that fact is, I can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim. Um, I love the water. I love being in the water. The ocean kind of scares me. Um, I will get in it. I will only go up to about this high, and then I start freaking out a little bit, especially when the waves are pulling me back into the ocean. I don't like that. I don't like not having control of what's happening to my body. Um, that could start a whole conversation about something else. Um, anyway, so, yeah, those are my nicknames. Uh, some people still call me Kit Kat. I know two people in particular call me Cat. Um, my husband calls me Kitty Cat, Pumpkin, Sweetie, Honey, all those. Um, Sugar Bear. That was a joke at first, and now it's actually a name. Um, he called me Bunny, too. It was one day he was trying to call me Babe and Honey at the same time. This is uh, stuck. Um, any number of names. He calls me Calabasa sometimes, which means pumpkin in Spanish, so... Any number of things. Um, my birthday. My birthday is March 2nd. Dr. Seuss shares that same birthday. Um, I love Dr. Seuss. As a kid... He's probably my favorite person ever. Favorite person, yeah. Um, star sign. I am a Pisces. Woo! I don't really know all the facts about Pisces. I just know that we're creative and get distracted easily and are very emotional people. So, yeah. Um, place of birth. I was born in the mountains of North Carolina. I'm not going to say exactly where, but let's just say the mountains of North Carolina. Most people will probably figure it out. Um, my occupation. I love this question. I am currently unemployed. I have applied to 20-something odd jobs in the town that I'm in right now, which is in Virginia. Um, and I actually got turned down yesterday for a busing job, you know, where you clean the tables after people have eaten and you take it back to the kitchen and put it in the sink. Um, yeah, I got turned down because I was not qualified enough. So yeah, um, I don't know how you're not qualified to clean tables because I know illegal immigrants can clean tables. And I'm not really sure where to look. I keep looking at myself and at the camera and at myself and at the camera. So I'm going to try to look at the camera, or I might just look at myself, or like up into, well, I don't know, I don't like this. Um, so yeah, occupation, I'm a student, I'm a full-time student going to community college and going for a degree in science as of right now, but in a couple minutes I'll say what my plan is. Um, tattoos, I don't have any tattoos. I have dreams of tattoos, I have designs that I have sketched out, I have multiple ideas, but I don't know if I ever want to commit to one, so I'm not going to get one for right now. Piercings, I only have one piercing in these ears, and that's all I plan on getting. I do have this cuff on my ear, it's not a piercing, it comes right off, I just like it. Um, braces. I had braces. I don't know. I just have these really weird retainer things. Um, best friend. My best friend would have to be Jenny. And I don't think she has a YouTube account. But 
she's my best friend. She's stuck with me through everything. She's always supported me in my art, my music, my photography, everything. She's always been there for me. Um, love her more than anything. And I miss her. She lives like 12 hours away now. Stupid college. It sucks. Don't do it. Actually do. Do definitely do it. Yeah. Um, moving on. Favorite color. My favorite color is aquamarine. It is also my birthstone. So, connection. Um, favorite movie. My favorite movie is Sahara with Matthew McConaughey or Sahara, however you want to say it. Matthew McConaughey, Penelope Cruz. Um, I just forgot the guy's name. The other guy. I just forgot his name. I love that guy. He's really funny. But yeah, that's my favorite movie. Um, favorite TV show? Right now, it's Sons of Anarchy. Right now. It changes a lot. Um, favorite restaurant? Favorite chain restaurant? Probably Red Lobster. But I have several favorites that are in my hometown, but nobody knows what they are. Um, favorite book? I have no idea. I love practically every book that I read. If I finish a book, that probably meant I, I liked it a lot. Um, so yeah, I love reading. I read all the time. I read like a book a day. Well, used to. Don't anymore, because no time. Um, favorite shoes. My favorite shoes are my cowboy boots. They are ostrich. And I got them as a gift because a family member didn't want them. And she gave them to me. So that was a huge score. I wore them practically every single day of the school year up until summer and then I wore flip-flops the whole time. Um, I wore them for the first time in like two months yesterday. Most glorious feeling ever. Um, moving on. Currently listening to. A minute ago I was listening to I Gave You All by Mumford and Sons and I was actually listening to a, um, a playlist on 8-tracks. I don't remember the name of it but that was one of the songs that was on it. I really like it. Um, I am married. I'm 18 and married. My mom is supportive and she's a very conservative lady so when she approved I knew that was a good sign. Um, he's in the Navy, the United States Navy, and he is a master at arms, which means he's a cop, and basically he watches the grass grow. His job is to wait. They literally wait for cars to come through, for an alarm to come. They just wait. Um, but their job is very important. I'm very proud of him. He's getting out in a little bit over a year, and we're both going to be going to a university, hopefully down in North Carolina. Hopefully we get in. Um, so yeah, I'm very proud of him. He's doing a very good job in his job and schooling. We're both in school right now. Um, I just ate Chick-fil-A. I thought that was important. I love Chick-fil-A. Spicy chicken deluxe with sweet tea or lemonade. Tonight it was lemonade. Um, Okay, big switch, want to have kids. I do want to have kids. Um, one or two, not more than two, preferably. Um, want a boy and a girl. A lot of people say they want a boy first or a girl first. I, I kind of want twins, a boy and a girl, so I don't have to choose. I mean, you don't really choose, but you know what I mean. Um, career in mind. Right now, it's physical therapy. I gotta see if I can get into, into grad school within the next five years. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, that's what I wanna do. Um, I did wanna be a police officer. My dad was a cop for 28, 27, eight years. And I wanted to be a cop. And then I wanted to be a homicide detective after a little while. And I wanted to retire as a homicide detective. I wanted to move up from local government to state to federal, preferably, but um, I decided if I was going to have a family, I probably should keep myself out of the line of fire and not have such odd hours. Um, let's see, what else? And then I wanted to go in forensics. I love forensics. I love it. It's one of my favorite things in the world. I read book after book after book on it, fiction, nonfiction, whatever. Uh, if it's forensics, I'll read it. Um, so 
So yeah, but then I decided since that too has really odd hours and I wanted to have a family, um, I decided to keep looking around and I actually saw a video on YouTube and it was about physical therapy for disabled veterans of military service and it made me cry and I watched another video, another video, another video and I started doing research and I decided, you know what, yeah, this is, this is what I want to do. This, this is very rewarding. I'm a people person. I have to interact with people, connect with people. Um, I have to help people. I think that's my biggest thing. I have to, I, I really feel this desire to help people. Um, so yeah, physical therapy and I want to do it with disabled veterans. Um, my beliefs. I am a Christian, Southern Baptist, but not the Southern Baptist that most everybody thinks of. My church was a phenomenal church, um, an absolutely amazing church. Um, very small. Everybody knew each other. Everybody welcomed everybody. If you had never been in this country before, you didn't even speak the language. If you happened to wander into the doors, suddenly you were best friends with everybody and everybody wanted to take you out to lunch. It was um, just an amazing church. Um, so I do believe in God. Um, I believe in miracles. Um, my dad passed away when I was uh, when I was 15, and for a while there I had some trouble with a lot of things. And me personally, I started praying more. I started, um, I guess, started questioning things, but at the same time, just letting it go. At the same time, um, and that really helped me. Whether I was talking to the God that I believe in, or whether I was talking to empty air, it helped me. Um, and I say I believe in miracles because I was a miracle baby. My parents would attest to that. And also, after my dad died, little things would happen, and they weren't things that should happen. Um, there were two distinct times I remember I almost got into really, really bad wrecks. And as I was driving, I was listening to music, and then I just was like, you know what, I'm going to turn my music down for a minute. I just don't want that loud, which is rare. I usually have my music pretty loud, windows down, music loud. I'm sorry, I have to adjust myself. My foot's falling asleep. Um, but this time I decided I wanted to roll my windows up and... Put my music down and it was it was weird um and i just kind of zoned out for a second it's like it was a very gray day and i just kind of just zoned out and i was driving and i literally i just had my hands up on the wheel and then next thing i know i was pulling over and i i didn't remember having the desire to pull over for any reason and in my head i heard i heard my father um i don't know why but i heard him and he said pull over kiddo, you gotta stay safe. And sure enough, I sat there and I was kind of floored by it. I was like, wow, does that really just happen? Maybe I'm just making it up. And then to the left of me, on the, on the road, two cars just absolutely barreled into this truck. I mean, it was a disaster. And I would have been sandwiched between the two cars, because they were, it was like this, like two cars like this, like that. And then there's a truck over here, and they just rammed into it. And I was in front of those two cars and behind this truck, so I would have been sandwiched in. Um, so yeah, I believe in miracles because of that, and there was another incident that happened. And heard my father's voice and kept me out of a wreck. Um... Moving on, okay, ghosts, spirits, demons, I do believe in that. I believe that, um, I don't necessarily believe in ghosts, but I do believe in spirits that can manifest themselves in some form or another. Um, I have more stories about that, but this video is getting kind of long, so I don't really want to go into that. Um, and demons, I feel the same way. I think that if um, positive, holy spirits, or whatever you want to call them, can manifest themselves in any kind of way, then I feel like demons can also. Um... I know 
my parents had experiences with supernatural things, and they were both hardcore, pretty pretty hardcore Christians. I'm not going to say hardcore like the radical Christians. I mean, they they were strong believers. I'll just say, uh, strong believers. They were strong believers. Um, soulmates. I do believe in soulmates. Um, not necessarily in a romantic way. Um, my best friend Jenny, I would consider her my soulmate because she can pick up on things if I send her a text and it's a basic hey she can pick up on something and say are you okay or what's going on or um who are you mad at like something like that and she just kind of picks up on it even through a text so I think that soulmates can be romantic or they can be platonic so I, I do believe in soulmates basically heaven and hell I believe in heaven and hell um Heaven, I don't know what it looks like, obviously, um, but I believe it's there, and I believe that it's a nice place, a very nice place, and I hope to one day be there. Hell, I do believe in hell. Um, I don't know if it's like Dante's Inferno kind of thing with the different layers and the different circles, I don't know, or if it's just one giant pit, I don't know, but I don't want to go there, basically. Um, so... The reason for this video is to give you guys all an idea of who I am, kind of, I guess, just who I am, um, kind of what I'm into, what I what I like, like, um, what kind of person I am. Um, if you guys have questions, please send them in. I love answering questions, because I love talking. I'm a talker. Um, I'm a musician. I play piano, guitar, and I sing. Um, I play some other instruments kind of on the side. I'm not the best at them. My mother, on the other hand, is literally the most amazing musician I've ever met. If you name an instrument, however out of this world it is, she's probably played it at least once, and she most likely knows how to play it very well. Um, my husband joked when we first started dating, he said, well, what does your mother play? I was like, name an instrument, I'll tell you if she plays it or not. And he was like, uh, saxophone. I said, yeah, she plays it. We have one in the house. And he, she's just kind of like, what? 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 Yeah. So, she plays everything. Um, she's also a singer. A great one at that. Um, I was in my school's jazz band. I'll post some of those videos up. That was the most amazing thing. This is my favorite thing in the world. Um, I was a singer. And I got to have a band back me up. And I love those kids. I They were my family. Um, what else? Art. I do art. I do a lot of art. Um, anywhere from a sketch to a sculpture. I love doing art. Um, my dad was an artist and that's where I get it from. Um, what else? Dance. I danced for several years. I love dancing. I want to get back into it, but I've got some injuries that need to be taken care of. Um, I think that's it. I think that's about it. Um, yeah. This video is extremely long, so if you guys make it all the way here, good on you. You are very patient, or very curious, or just really creepy. I really hope it's one of the first two and not the last one. Um, so yeah. Have a lovely day lovely night. I'm going to go to bed. It's like one in the morning. But yeah, so enjoy your day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever it is. Um, and more power to you if you made it this long listening to me ramble in my lovely monotone, slightly sick voice. Um, so yeah, that's it. Peace out. Home skillets. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting more videos soon. Um, probably not going to be one of those every Wednesday, every Thursday kind of people. It'll just be whenever I have time, which is not a lot lately. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop now. So farewell. And thank you for watching me be weird and awkward. Okay, bye!